Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development In this video I will show you how to easily parse a uh, local JSON file So I will teach you So let's get started as I have already created the project So the first step here is we have to uh, open or uh, put the file in Android in our project alright so what we will do is we will go to our project section here app source and in our source what we will do is we will go to new folder assets folder alright so I will just create click on finish So as you guys can see the folder is there so what I need to do is I need to copy the JSON file and paste that into asset folder alright so as I have this a.json so I show you how this file looks like so here it is the file what it contains is name city number alright So I will copy that and I will paste that into our assets folder. Alright. So now let's go to the mm, so in here what I will do is uh, let me open. I will find all the cities where uh, city equals to Islam ISB alright only ISB uh, will be printed for example this con uh, this one and this one will be printed alright so let's see how we do it so first of all let me create a method get JSON Alright, so in here, what first of all we need to do is we need to right, stream JSON. Alright, and in here now we need an input stream to read from the uh, assets. Alright, this one. So input is equals to get assets dot open, and in here you need to specify the name of your file. In my case, it's a dot JSON. Alright, it is giving me an error because uh, uh, it's not an error basically. So I will paste that into it and I will catch IO exception. Alright, now the other, uh, the warning is gone. Now I need a size, integer size i dot available. Alright, now I will initialize a byte array which will contain our uh, file of that size alright so now we need to read into our input stream now we will close it alright now I need to initialize the JSON string new in here first of all we need a buffer and encoding utf8 all right now we need a json array new json array and in here i need to pass json this string all right so it is giving i need to a json exception alright so now uh, let me initialize all the array lists first of all I need an array list of type string mm, number list alright so here what we will do is we will 
write a for loop for int i equals to zero i less than json array dot length i increment and in here i will write json object so we will basically create a json object from the json array obj equals to new json object and in equals to json array dot get json object and in here we will pass our index all right so mm -hmm. now here we will check if obj dot get string city dot equals isb all right so what to do if let me open my agent file all right so it will come here it will check if city equals to isb so what we need is we need to extract name and number so in in this case we will only extract the number so i will just write number list dot add and what we will add it obj dot get string number all right we will uh, extract all the numbers for example in this case this will be this the number will be uh, pasted into the r array list all right so it will again go uh, upside and it will check so now here we will write toast dot make text get application with context and we will display our number list dot to string dot show all right so let me open the mirror go application and let me connect my smartphone sorry we have forgotten to call our method so we will write j get json so now as i have connected my smartphone mismatch what why I have got the error let me check let me run the application sorry guys the error was here this one all right i had forgotten to write buffer here all right so in here let me write the code again so what we need to do is we need to check if obj dot get string city dot equals isb so what you have to do you number list dot add obj dot get string number all right 
now here the number 9 to 1 and 1 to 3 will be printed all right so here we need to print number this door to string dot show so let me run the app and also let me So now let me open, uh, run the app again. As you guys can see, the numbers are printed only one to three and nine to one. 1, 2, 3 and 9 to 1. Alright, so if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.